I have a scanning project today. We, got, we are going to scan the cockpit of this uh, plane, which is uh, actually a retired plane. Uh, they turn it into a coffee shop, but the, the cockpit there still have a, a dashboard and, uh, and things that uh, the customer wants to scan. So we have a new version, 3.2.24. You see what's new. Add batch processing, add undo merge, optimize lasso. So I have 50 FPS and 30 FPS. Okay, here's the scanning result of the cockpit. I use Creality Scan Author to scan this uh, cockpit in a single scan. There was no merging. I have about 13 million point clouds. Uh, this is the uh, auto pilot control panel. I use the uh, laptop to scan and place quite a number of the marker onto this panel. Uh, because the customer wants the higher detail of the scan, he wants to replicate the, uh, the knobs the, and the buttons. And uh, the detail is very high. You can even see the indentation. Uh, this is flight management computer, FMC. Uh, scan this using the laptop. Here is another detail example. I use the author to scan and in small mode, oh, we ran out of time and we didn't have time to apply and remove the, the marker. So we decided to use the author to scan in uh, geometry mode. I think it's a handbrake and uh, the customer, he hold up for me to scan the other side. And you can see the rack here. I, I place uh, a rack here just for tracking. Uh, here's the flap, uh, same. Uh, we use the uh, author in the small mode. Uh, you can see identification. I think it's done a pretty good job. And this one is uh, the knob for, I don't know what that's for. Uh, we, I, I use the author to scan in small mode. Okay, it's look much better here. This is the uh, overall cockpit. Scan, uh, scan in a single time. I scan using the author in a large mode. You can see the details here. Uh, the large mode is very good for if the object has a larger uh, flat smooth area. Uh, the seat is actually damaged. So I think so many people has been sitting in this uh, first pilot chair. Uh, we make a detailed scan, the autopilot control panels also here, uh, the FMC. The detail from the large mode is not high. I scan this part in individually. Okay, let's take a look at the other part, uh, autopilot. So it's a uh, scan with the laptop and the detail is uh, incredibly high, uh, almost 5 million faces. If you want to use the laptop to scan a uh, control panel, I think it's very good at uh, scanning this control panel. You can actually read the letters data, POS. Uh, this is FMC, Flight uh, Management Computer. Uh, the customer, he wants to replicate this and make a kind of flight simulator. Scanning detail is very high. Yeah. Uh, indentation is uh, very pronounced. Uh, this bond that has been removed by a tourist. Okay, this is scan 
by the author in small mode. Actually, uh, it's quite okay because we couldn't apply the marker. We didn't have time. So it's quicker to scan in uh, geometry mode with the author. Okay, this one also scan with the uh, author small mode. No, mar no markers using only the geometry. Uh, it's good enough for reverse engineering. Uh, this one also used the uh, author in a uh, small mode to use a rack. Actually, it's a rack. I use a rack for tracking. Uh, sorry that I didn't record the scanning process because I ran the laptop on the batteries and I need to save the power. Uh, here's the lower part of the cockpit cup holder. Probably this one the file is a folder holder. This this could be a speaker. It's also scanned in uh, with the author in large mode. Actually I scanned the whole plane, the outside of the plane with the LiDAR scanner. I made that in another video. Thanks for watching. I see you in the next video.